Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at the Georgia plumbing license. Now I encourage you to watch this video all the way through, however below we've got timestamps that will take you to specific sections so that you can find the information you're looking for as quickly as possible. Now in the state of Georgia, any individual engaging in the business of plumbing under express or implied contract or who bids for, offers to perform, purports to have the capacity to perform, or does perform plumbing contracting services is going to need to be licensed. And this is straight from the Division of Master Plumber and Journeyman Plumbers. Now there are three main classifications. You've got Journeyman Plumber, Master Plumber Class 1, and Master Plumber Class 2. A Journeyman Plumber allows you to install, maintain, alter, or repair plumbing fixtures and systems under the supervision of a master plumber, but you need three years of work experience. Master Plumber Class 1 allows for work restricted to single-family dwellings, one-level dwellings designed for no more than two families, and commercial structures not exceeding 10,000 square feet. For this one, you need five years of work experience, and two years of that experience must be as a licensed journeyman, plumbing contractor, foreman, superintendent, or military plumber. For the Master Plumber Class 2, this allows for plumbing work in any capacity with no restrictions, but you need five years of work experience, including experience in commercial and industrial plumbing, and two years must be as a licensed journeyman, contractor, foreman, superintendent, or military plumber. Now, no matter which classification you go for, you'll need to meet the basic requirements of the board. You've got to be at least 18 years of age, You'll need a valid driver's license or USA identification. You'll need a social security number and complete a citizenship affidavit. Complete a background check. Obviously, you'll need the experience that applies to the specific classification you're going for. And only one year experience can be from secondary education. And in addition to that, you'll need three work-related references. Now, each classification has an examination. The journeyman exam is 100 questions. Class 1 exam is 80 questions. The Class 2 exam is 100 questions. Now these are multiple choice exams. You'll get 7 hours to complete them and you'll need at least a 70% score to pass. Now all of the exams fluctuate slightly based on what's going to be on the test, but for the most part, these are the concepts that you'll need to know about. So obviously Georgia State Plumbing Code, the different plumbing systems, uh, system design, performing calculations, backflow, safety, etc. Now we've got practice tests that go deep on each one of these subjects that you can find in the top right hand corner or the bottom of this video. Now if you're going for the Master Plumber Class 1 or 2 license, you'll also need to pass the Georgia Business and Law exam. This is going to be 50 questions, it's open book, it's a computerized test, you'll need 70% to pass, and you get 120 minutes to take the exam. But it's important to remember that if you fail this test twice, you can't apply for a whole year. So you definitely want to make sure that you're prepared. You'll need to know about licensing requirements, estimating and bidding, business organization and financial management, tax laws, labor laws, project management, lien law, contracts, risk management, environmental and safety. Now we've got a complete course that breaks down everything that you need to know so that you're insured to pass this test on the first try. And you can check that out in the top right hand corner or the bottom of this video. Now when it comes to the fees, you will pay an examination fee. If you're renewing a license, you'll pay a renewal fee. There's a late renewal fee. And then there's a reinstatement fee. And this is only in the case if your license lapses after more than three years. Now, fees are constantly changing. For the most updated fees, you can check that out uh, in the description below this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Like and subscribe to our channel. Again, this is digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.